Hello and welcome back to another guide in the Master Chief Collection. Uh, Default 3 added 50 new achievements to this game and we're here to tackle out the ones that we can tackle out. So, starting off on Episode 1, Chapter 4, Night in the White Achievement. To get this one, uh, pretty much what you need to do is click that button and clear out these uh, crawlers right here in the beginning. Once you clear them out, a knight spawns near the end of the hallway and you just gotta run behind him and assassinate him. Not too hard, just showing you how it's done. And now, another thing to mention is, unlike my campaign achievements, you, you'll see me jumping from legendary to heroic on a few occasions. The reason for that is, because at the moment there is a glitch that if you start the game and just back out doing the loadout section, it counts as if you completed the mission. So, do, uh, think about it. Do it on legendary, and you should get the one for finishing in all the levels on legendary, and finishing all of them on legendary by yourself. Not too hard. And get it done, and you'll love me for it that much more. I know. Kisses to you too. Hugs also. XO XO. Whatever. Uh, moving on to the last episode, uh, last chapter in episode one, Tower Core. You clear out the enemies, and eventually you'll get that beacon right there to press the button and continue on with the level. Instead of doing that, uh, stand where I'm standing and shoot at the box, and you will unlock Roses vs. Violets, which is obviously a reference to Red vs. Blue. And uh, near the end of the level, you'll also get a nice dialogue from the voice actors themselves. Not too shabby. Moving on to Episode 2, Chapter 3, Hacksaw for no one left behind. Now, the marines are really Im really immortal until you save the last group of them. And once you save them, they can now be killed, which completely sucks. Uh, if you want to keep them alive, which the achievement requires to at least one of them be alive by the end of the level, run to where I'm running right now. Because eventually a phantom is going to come down with a wraith. And you want to stay a pretty safe distance away from him. Because, well, not only the phantom will shoot your shields off, but then you'll have a wraith shooting you. Now wait for the wraith to come down and I'll recommend having a plasma pistol with you so you can just EMP the wraith and shoot out the gunner. Now, in case the driver doesn't pop off, which in most cases the driver should not just pop up on its own, if you get into the turret of the Wraith, it will auto-eject the pilot of the Wraith and then you can go and drive the Wraith yourself and have no problem with it. And I would say clear out the enemies right here and once you do, there will be a little checkpoint and you can go up to the top of the structure and activate another checkpoint which would spawn in new enemies to come down. Once they come down, make sure to get back in the Wraith and blast these elites right there. Especially the ones ruling the swords because they will one hit your marines and that really sucks. They should have one or two marines left and that one elite just kills them. But in case one of them survives like that guy did, don't be afraid to run after him and make sure he's dead. And from that point on after you kill those elites, all that's left is the phantoms and once you go up the last one, literally the only thing left is to wait for pickup. That's it. You can even stand right there where the turret is at the very top. Pick it up, wait for the pelican to show up, and once he shows up you can just shoot the living hell out of him because he was taking his sweet time and just Christ, your marines almost died. But thankfully you have the no one left behind achievement right now. Congrats. Just continue shooting him now, I swear to God. That guy just deserves to blow up. Anyway though. Uh, moving. Uh, I'm trying to not say uh, in videos, and instead I'm going to go with a solid. Uh, but. M mission 5-4, uh, five, uh, episode 5, chapter 4. Uh, if you die, it's not too big of a deal because there are two mantises right there in the beginning, and there's also two more behind where you're protecting the generators themselves. Now, the only tips I'll give to this one, which you need to completed is well for one you don't need to do it on legendary like I'm doing you can switch and do it on heroic like because I said like if you take advantage of the glitch the legendary is supposed to do it do it on the easier difficulty now 
the advice to give on here would be shoot the turrets off of the phantoms because they damage you and that sucks. Uh, there is normally a human turret up on the middle structure. You want to take care of that because eventually a grunt will get in there and give you some boo-boos. And you don't want to get boo-boos because your mom's not here to kiss them off. Uh, like about halfway to protecting you, you get the ability to turn on these turrets. The enemies don't get distracted by them, don't be fooled, they, they won't attack the turret, they'll actually run past it and continue attacking the generators, which which sucks, it honestly sucks, but it's not too bad, at least it chips away at their health. And the only other thing is your friendly AIs, the one with a sniped rifle and the one with a rocket launcher. If you have any free time between the waves of enemies coming at you, get out of your mantis and replace it with like a, replace the weapons with like a plasma pistol or a DMR, something like that. Because your friendly AI are more likely to kill you. Like you saw right there, that guy. The, you see again, the guy's sh almost shooting me to death because he wants to shoot the enemy, the dead enemies in the ground, and he's more likely to kill you. But whatever, the achievement pops, so who cares? We can move on to the Mythic Skull achievements. Which for this, uh, duly noted, note that I duly am saying you can only get this in Forge modes. They do not appear in custom games, they don't appear in matchmaking, so don't waste your time in those modes. Just go straight to Forge. And for the assembly skull, it's on these tubes that kind of look like teapot things. Uh, check both sides. If it's not on one side, it's obviously going to be on the other side. It's not too big of a deal. You'll get the achievement to unlock. These skulls aren't too bad to get. The only actual bad one to get is the sandbox one. But thanks to me, you won't have to worry too. You won't have to worry too hard about that one. Fumbling my words again. I'm a lovely person. I know. Anyway, uh, for the skull on orbital, just again turn to forge mode. Go to the rocket launcher spawn near this little chasm of infinite falling death thing and go all the way to the top and on the right side on this platform right here is the skull turn into your human mode and pick up the skull right there uh, uh, you don't need to crouch down or just make your like swivel your way into the little crevice that's fine you can throw the skull there see me I have like I have voices in my head so I legitimately thought the skull was talking smack about me so I jumped in after it to you know bash it real good yeah whatever uh, this is the skull I was talking about that will give you the hard, uh, the most amount of trouble because you do need to forge your path there but thanks to me and you should be th very very thankful to me I already made a map for you so all you need to do is just go to the gamer tag burning Ritter right there and download the map skull and you can use this same top of the line a class bridge that puts the Brooklyn Bridge to shame. Honestly, Magneto can't even destroy this because it's not even made of metal. Screw you, Magneto. That's right, I said it. No one else did. Am I buying time until I get to the skull? Totally, I am because I have nothing else to say in this part. I could sing the Chopper song again, but that's already sung and done. Come on, guys, I'm a little bit more original than that. You know, I like to make my way to the end. Make my. Okay, I am at the end. That kind of worked out. Uh, could have timed it better, but whatever. Uh, I do have the two bubble shields here. Make use of them. They actually prevent you from being shot by the laser guardians of the sky gods. And pick up the skull. You won't see the achievement pop right there for me, because I already got this earlier when I was setting up the map. Didn't think to record it back then, because it was taking a while to build the map itself. Forgive me. Uh, anyway, now moving on to Citadel. The, from the rocket launcher spawn, move into the blue base. And you see the wall right there with the blue lights on it. The one with the on the right side with the two blue lights, go up there and the skull is at the top. I've seen some guides, like even back in the day in the original Halo 3 where these skulls were first related to the achievements to get recon armor. And people were using grav lifts and stuff to push the skull. I was like, that's just stupid. Why the hell would you do that? Well, anyway. Uh, Heretic or the map that looks like Skirbert on the right side. Move on to here, uh, again this is one of those things that is on one side and not the other. Uh, if you look on the red base, with a, you can tell it's the red base because of the red slit going up. Uh, it's not on the red base, it's on the blue base because it has the blue slit going up. Go up there, pick up the skull, and boom. 
almost done. You are almost done. Ignore what I'm about to do in this video. I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny to end the video with me being stuck between the little grab lift on the floor and the platform up top. But turns out I just get pushed off of these things and kind of wasted my time there for a while. Sorry. Anyway. This is the last map. You need to get the Skull Longshore. Isn't too bad. Now, turning to the Forge Ball thing, the monitor, go out towards the Frogs poster right there on the very back of the map and drop on the little air duct or I don't know, it, it's a thing. Uh, Sp Spooderman climbs up these things all the time in the movies. You get the skull. You get the achievement brain pan for collecting the six or five other skulls, and you also get Longshore for getting the skull on Longshore. And now you're done, and I'm done with the list of achievements from the newer list. Now, moving on to wrapping up some of the achievements I missed in my guide for Halo 3. I'm sorry about this. I kind of thought this particular achievement itself was at the last level, and you needed four players for it, so I never tackled it. So, now first things first, you saw the skulls are activated there. Uh, make sure you activate those skulls and make sure you pick Salvo Highway because that's the level you need to be doing this on. Whew, yeah, I'm running out of mouth. Running out of mouth. God damn it. Running out of air. I'm running out of air when I'm speaking and not breathing too much. Anyway, uh, what, what you want to do is you actually want to run back and pick up the BR. Because the en both your friendly and enemy eyes are much tougher, and they take Sergeant more hits to kill. But with a BR, a single headshot just kills your friendlies because they don't have any Spartan armor, and Let's they don't have up. any shields the over their healthy schmelfy. so a single headshot does it. Mwah, does a fabulous job. The Shoot the guys here, and then there's also one guy out there, like right behind the door. I mentioned the guy behind the door because he kills me, and you'll see me fading in, fading out. Uh, that's the reason that I do that because I'm doing outside kill me and the reason you want to kill the Marines is well you know how these idiots try and for the achievement mind the gap to unlock you need to make a certain particular jump with four vehicles and if the Marines kill the vehicles you're not gonna make the jump anyway right here uh, I slow down the footage uh, to show you that I killed these jackals. I'm, I need to speak slow because, uh, like I said, my mouth is running crazy. I'm losing it. I don't have any uh, control over it anymore. Anyway, uh, you kill those jackals. You pick up the sniper rifle. Three headshots on the brutes will kill them, or three body shots and a single shot with a BR will kill them. And I messed up Rolly there. I could have reset checkpoint, but I didn't because... Ooh, I'm a smart person. See, I was thinking about that guy when I did this. I was, I wanted to make sure that if you lost the thing, you know where to go. Anyway, uh, jokes aside, if you do lose a Warthog, that's not too bad. You only need two of them for this achievement. There's actually one close by, and... There we go, this is the area. There's one actually right under the rock that I'm shooting these guys in. There's one Warthog with a turret. And where I originally killed the first... God damn, I do bump the mic every single video. Anyway. And there is another Warthog near the first two Jackal Snipers I killed in the video. That's why I actually sl slowed down that portion to show me killing them. Not only to get the sniper rifle, but because... Yeah, I'm, I'm moving there right now, actually. That's where I killed the guys by that grab lift. And here is the Warthog itself. Pick up the Warthog. And then you drive and drive and drive. Eventually, I'm going to speed this up. There we go. We sp speed this up. You drive and you park it near here. Then you run back and pick up the other Warthog, which was behind the rock that we were sniping the uh, Brutes and Grunts earlier on. And you want to clear out the enemies over here. And for the Chieftain, a few headshots with a beam rifle and a BR will take care of them as long as you drop the hat. That's all you need. It's an easy attack to take them out. And it's helpful because, again, Thunderstorm Skull is on, makes the enemies that much tougher. And you don't want to deal with them too long because he has a fuel rod. It sucks. Fuel rods suck against you. Now, this is a cautionary tale because if you EMP a chopper and then shoot the brute off of it, the chopper blows up for some reason. I don't really know the science behind it, but it's pretty dumb. What you want to do instead is... 
well, I, I kill myself and we start the checkpoint. But what you want to do is just EMP the chopper, hijack it, shoot the pilot of the burp, shoot the pilot of the burp, and then just move on your way and kill these brutes. Once you uh, go close to the little shield door, you will spawn drones. And once you spawn the drones, you want to drive back so you have plenty of space to shoot them. Because these drones love to jump on the vehicle you're piloting and just punch you. Which isn't too bad, but on Legendary, they do actually give you a decent amount of damage. And instead of dealing with that, just shoot them from a distance and you'll be safe. And the only other requirement to make, make sure you get this achievement to work is... A grav lift and the grav lift is located right here in this building it's to the it's the right building whenever you're approaching this area and there's actually a few BR ammo in there too if you want to refill your juices per se but anywho just right then you get into the warthog and you're supposed to drive right there I'm still speeding this up because I jumped to my death over there but I got the checkpoint Ooh, okay on this bridge, park right there in front of the, a little bit in front of that freeway sign, so you have some time to uh, come back. It actually shortens the length of time to make the first warthog jump and then come back and get into the second warthog jump. This doesn't make sense to you right now, but once the video reaches the point, it'll make a lot more sense to you. There I go, set up the second warthog, and... Honestly, this walk back is the worst part because you need to walk and set up the choppers. And for the sake of it, I haven't done this in this video yet. I will do it right now. Chopper, 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 driving the chopper. Chopper, 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 driving the chopper. Now I'm walking back again to get the other chopper. I forgot to pick up this time. This chopper will be the second chopper. It'll be the fourth vehicle I bring to the place I need to bring it there. Voila. That's my song for this video. Don't say I don't sing every video because I do my best to do it. I mean, you've got to be a little bit fresh and refreshing in here. And what you want to do is you want to line up the chopper because chopper is the best vehicle to make the jumps with. Uh, right before you make the jump, you want to boost the little engines and make the jump right there. And you should get a checkpoint right around here where you get the little uh, frames coming down. That should be a checkpoint. Do the same thing with the second chopper. Now, if you mess up the jump with one chopper or both choppers, don't worry. You can actually, if you land in the bottom layer, you can drive to the hill up there and then boost your way to the bridge. From there, it may take you a few times to make it to the bridge, but it's possible as long as you land the vehicle right on the other side of the thing. And for the Warthogs, grab lift, place it down there, get in the Warthog, jump in, make the jump, get out, run back, get into the other Warthog. My timing could be better, but who cares? You get the achievement to pop. The grab lift blows up before you make the second Warthog jump. Reset checkpoint, and you should be able to do this again. And sooner or later, you'll get the placement and the timing right, and you'll get the achievement. And now the final achievement I forgot to mention in my Halo 3 guide originally is Sounds Familiar. This one is pretty easy, just load up the map high ground and you just, all you have to do is stand in front of this laptop and eventually the achievement will pop. For me it took about 10 seconds to pop, for you it might take 5 minutes, it's again one of those weird achievements that it triggers either really quickly or it doesn't trigger at all. It's one of them dealios. Now I want to leave this video off this time with mentioning my Facebook. Follow me on there. I want to hear your advices on what videos you want me to do next, especially in Let's Play series. If I decide to tackle them on tackle Let's Plays on this channel, let me know what games you're liking to play. Follow me on Twitter so you know what I'm doing currently in the editing or recording process, and you'll know what video game I'm working on currently at that point. And there's my PayPal over there if you want to donate. Right now, I'm kind of living off unemployment and combined checks to uh, me meet the rent pretty much. But that doesn't leave any money for any video games, like newer ones, in order to continue guys like that. I mentioned this in the Call of Duty uh, guide. But I'm also willing to uh, offer some help, like the Microsoft Point things. 
uh, like the five dollar Microsoft point things you can get from GameStop. Uh, if you want help with the uh, last of achievements, I can uh, pretty much help you get each of the achievements for Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4. Uh, if you're interested in that, send me a message on Burning Widow and I'll help you out with the, <coughs> with the achievements themselves. I'll just, in exchange for that, I just need the $5 code and that will go towards actually purchasing a game which I can use to create yet another guide for you people. So you can watch and be entertained and also have a way of getting the achievements for it. So let me know if you're interested. I won't push this too far. This might be the only video I mentioned the PayPal and the donation thing. So l just let me know if you're interested.